Our warm winter rages on. Many people are talking about climate change. That is the case year round for many communities and agencies across Minnesota that are working to grow more resilient. Adam Del Rosso is taking a closer look at the changes in our region and what's being done to combat them. Warming winters. Sounds nice at first. This in January is just unreal. But the impacts and costs of our changing climate are concerning. I don't think there's a single corner of this region that will be untouched or hasn't already um, experienced some sort of impact from climate change just in the last 10 years alone. According to the Met Council, insurance premiums in the Twin Cities have increased by 366% since 1998. Intense rainfall and drought crushing the ag community, severe storms and flooding stressing our roads and homes, extreme temperatures causing troubles for our parks and trails. We have to start taking steps today in order to get to where we want to be in 2050. And that's the type of work that we're doing today is, and have been doing over the last 20, 30 years. Baraja says their plan is updated every decade. The newest looking ahead to 2050 when they hope the region will be net zero when it comes to carbon emissions. A crucial part of that plan, collaboration with local governments. One of Bloomington's big initiatives, their curbside cleanup program which even includes organics. A stuff that would typically end up in a landfill, that old couch that still has life in it or that mattress, instead of ending up in a landfill, more than five tons of material is now either recycled or reused. Mayor Tim Bussey says more projects to help the city become more resilient, like installing solar panels and EV charging stations are in the works, and it's all thanks to the community. And it was the residents telling us they wanted it to happen. And as part of that also, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be looking at a $300,000 budget item to do a climate mitigation plan within the city of Bloomington. So we know it takes all of us to make a difference and that there isn't just one single solution that we can have or one thing that we can buy or one technology that's going to answer uh, climate change for us. In Bloomington, Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News. A statewide survey shows 75% of Minnesota governments or organizations have some sort of climate plan in place, and that has helped the state's overall greenhouse gas emissions drop 23% between 2005 and 2020. Well, speaking